This is a 98 Chevy K3500 and my door motor to go from recirculating to outdoor air when the air conditioner was on max AC or on recirculate, this door here would open and then it would flop. And then you hear this constant flopping noise. So I finally took the motor, the fan motor out and the actual motor, the actuator is on the left side and it's up there. This is the new one I've already got installed. It's part number. 16167292, and you can replace it with a Dorman 604116. But the biggest part is when this is installed, you're looking at it like this. So you can see there's a, there's two screws, one there, which is pretty easy to get, but the bare is this one, it's at the very top. So I try to you know get a regular socket set and fit that on there with some kind of adapter to twist it. Had no luck, and so I finally ended up cutting off the tip of that five and a half millimeter socket and then welding it onto a donor used screwdriver so that I could then put it on here and that's the same socket head it's a five and a half millimeter but then once you get that on there you can then put your quarter inch ratchet and I cut it to length so that I could fit it on there just like that and then you can then ratchet it open and closed bonus if you got a magnet put it on there on side and then it'll help you keep it from falling out. And additionally, when you're putting the screw back in, the magnet helps you do that. Now, I did have a five and a half nut driver here, and I thought about using that, but the problem I ran into, I thought, was the depth on that is so much longer until you get to the shank that I was afraid that by the time you get that in there, you may not have enough space to fully use the wrench when it starts coming up, because you gotta add room for the depth when you start unscrewing it. And since you've already got pretty high up there, you don't have the same kind of depth with this one relative to the one I made. Either one might work, but just something to help you out.